Hey, it's Dr. H. Thank you so much for taking the time to uh, look at this video. I wanted to continue this content to you concerning, is it my hormones? Uh, last time I talked to the guys a little bit more when I was dealing with testosterone. Today, I want to talk to the ladies. Ladies, listen, everybody understands that when it comes to hot flashes, night sweats, vaginal dryness, that those are all hormone related things. But where you may not know that there are some attachments to your hormones are these three areas that I want to talk about now. Number one is looking at sagging skin, sagging breast, and wrinkled skin. Now, no, you don't want to hear this, but this is, has to be said. There are issues associated with low estrogen levels in women, low progesterone levels in women that can affect your skin your skin can start to have that sagging effect. You can see the sagging in the breast. You lose that firmness, that elasticity kind of uh, laxes more, and that's associated with low estrogen levels. Second place that we can run into some problems is, is associated with depression issues. Now, I'm not attaching every last issue associated with depression, every DSM-4 associated or DSM-5, but I think we're probably at now, I don't know, maybe we're at six. Um, that's associated with low estrogen levels, but I am telling you from this perspective, don't discount your thyroid being off or your estrogen levels being low when it comes to depression issues. We really kind of focus in on, on those when we're dealing with thyroid issues, but the other place that can really probably cause some significant issues for women is if their estrogen is off. There's plenty of women that come in and see me to think that they're they're going crazy. They're dealing with a lot of anxiety issues. They're dealing with depression issues. And sometimes it may just be just as simple as getting your hormones under control and getting that balance back. In conjunction with that, you can see these problems with mood swings associated with low estrogen levels, low testosterone levels in women. Women, do not discount. Don't think that you're just going crazy or just dealing with problems and issues and that the only option would be is to turn to doing depression medication. I would tell you to take a look at your hormones and see, are they out of whack? Is there something going on? Sometimes it may be just that, uh, getting your, your depression medication to work even more fine-tunedly and work better because of the fact that we get your hormones to a, a more functional level in you. The goal after all of this is that you look at some more holistic things, that you look a little bit more fuller when it comes to dealing with uh, how your low estrogen levels, your low progesterone levels can affect you on a day-to-day -day basis. Last place that I'll touch is concerning testosterone levels in women. Now, when you look at the literature, there really is not a such a thing as a low testosterone in a woman. But where I have seen great success at with women is by raising testosterone levels in women that I can see a resurgence of their, of their sex drive, probably more than you see with any other type of medication or any other type of treatment. Now, if you don't like your guy in the first place, it doesn't mean that you're just going to fall in love with him afterwards. But if you're dealing with problem issues associated with just having a desire, you can definitely start to see a change by Taking your, taking your testosterone levels and bringing them to a more functional level and a more uh, super physiologic level for dealing with your issues. Listen, if you have questions or concerns, you can always hit us up on our Facebook page. You can hit us up on IG. You can reach us at www.horizonshormonetherapy.com. You can call us in our office at 937-228-4942. You can reach us multiple different ways. I'm going to continue to keep bringing content, continue to keep pushing this information out here. I think it will change your life. Definitely hit us up and thanks for viewing. Hey, it's Dr. H. Just... Hey, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I can see you crawling up the stairs. <laughs>